Let's dive into the inner world of a cell and take a closer look at its parts. Cells are like tiny complex factories, and each part, or organelle, has a special job to do. Today we're going to identify some key organelles and cell components, and explain what each one does to keep the cell functioning. First up, we have the nucleus. The nucleus is like the control center of the cell. It holds the cell's DNA, which contains all the instructions for how the cell should grow, divide, and do its job. You can think of the nucleus as the brain of the cell, sending out orders to the rest of the cell to keep everything running smoothly. Inside the nucleus is the nucleolus, which is like a mini factory within the nucleus. Its job is to make ribosomes, which are essential for building proteins. Speaking of ribosomes, these little guys are like the protein factories of the cell. They take the instructions from the nucleus and turn them into proteins, which the cell needs to function. You can find ribosomes floating around in the cytoplasm or attached to the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Now, let's talk about the endoplasmic reticulum, or ER. There are two types, the rough ER and the smooth ER. The rough ER gets its name because it's covered in ribosomes, making it look bumpy or rough. It's responsible for assembling proteins and shipping them off to where they're needed. Think of it as the production line of the cell's factory. The smooth ER, on the other hand, doesn't have ribosomes and is involved in making lipids, or fats, and detoxifying chemicals, like a cleanup crew for the cell. Next, we have the Golgi bodies, or the Golgi apparatus. These are like the packaging and shipping center of the cell. Once proteins and lipids are made by the endoplasmic reticulum, the Golgi bodies package them into tiny bubbles called vesicles and send them to their final destinations, whether that's within the cell or outside of it. Think of it like a post office sorting and shipping out parcels. Another important organelle is the lysosome. Lysosomes are like the recycling centers of the cell. They break down waste materials, old cell parts, and even invading bacteria, using powerful enzymes to digest them. They keep the cell clean and tidy, breaking things down so the parts can be reused. Now, let's move on to the cell membrane. This is like the security guard of the cell. It surrounds the cell and controls what can enter and exit. The cell membrane lets in things like nutrients and water that the cell needs, while keeping harmful substances out. It also helps the cell communicate with other cells. If you're talking about plant cells, you've got an additional layer called the cell wall. The cell wall is like a protective outer layer that gives the cell its shape and provides extra strength. In plant cells, it helps them stay upright and sturdy, like the way the trunk of a tree supports its branches. Speaking of plants, they also have chloroplasts. Chloroplasts are the solar panels of plant cells. They capture sunlight and use it to make food for the plant through a process called photosynthesis. Inside the chloroplast is a green pigment called chlorophyll, which gives plants their green color and helps them turn sunlight into energy. Another key organelle is the vacuole. In plant cells, the vacuole is like a storage tank. It's a large, fluid-filled space that stores water, nutrients, and waste products. By holding onto water, the vacuole also helps the plant cell maintain its shape. When the vacuole is full, the cell stays firm. But if the vacuole loses water, the plant wilts. In animal cells, vacuoles are smaller, but they still store important materials for the cell. Next, we have the mitochondria. These are often called the powerhouses of the cell because they produce energy. The mitochondria take in nutrients and break them down to release energy that the cell can use to do its work. Every cell needs energy to function, and the mitochondria are where that energy is made. Inside the cell, you'll also find the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is the jelly-like substance that fills the inside of the cell. It's mostly water, and it provides a medium for the organelles to float in. It also helps transport materials around the cell and is the site where many important chemical reactions happen. So, what's the big picture? The nucleus, nucleolus, ribosomes, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi bodies, lysosomes, cell membrane, cell wall, chloroplasts, vacuoles, mitochondria, and cytoplasm are all essential parts of the cell, each with their own special role. 
The nucleus acts as the control center. The ribosomes and ER handle protein production. The Golgi bodies package and ship materials. And the lysosomes break down waste. The mitochondria create energy. And the cytoplasm provides a space for everything to float and function. Together, all these organelles keep the cell and the organism alive and healthy. That's it for today's lesson. Next time you think about cells, imagine them as tiny factories where every part is hard at work, keeping everything running smoothly.